All over the country, people are staying at home to protect the NHS. The images are familiar, and so is the voiceover. William and Kate say now, more than ever, we should look out for each other's mental well-being. The Duke yesterday opened the Nightingale Hospital in Birmingham, and less publicly, he's been speaking with care workers. In an interview with the BBC, William touched on the anxieties many are dealing with. This hero tag that we're attaching to the NHS workers, albeit it's totally valid, we've got to be careful that we don't you know, alienate some of the other NHS workers who, who do really generally worry and are scared going to work every single day. Before lockdown, the Cambridges carried out several engagements with those on the front line. Although the royals have to stay out of politics, the Duchess gets as close as she can here after being asked about low pay. Yeah, I think, you know, what we're seeing now is, is the NHS and the frontline workers doing the most extraordinary job, and that's really come to the forefront in the last um, a few, few weeks. And I think it's going to dramatically change how we all value and see our frontline workers. The Cambridge children, Charlotte, Louis and George, have been taking part in the clap for carers at their home in Norfolk. And it turns out mum and dad have been telling a white lie over Easter. <laughs> yeah, homeschooling's fun. <laughs> um, don't tell the children we've actually kept it going through the holidays. I feel very mean. <laughs> it's a little glimpse of royal lockdown as the Duke and Duchess continue to work from home. We're in this together. Simon Viger, Five News.